Welcome to the third and final part of the QuickBooks tutorial on bank reconciling. Hit cancel. Okay, so once you've done all this, um, oh, I will show you one other trick here too, um, is if for some reason you want to see some more details about one of the payments uh, in the reconcile screen, you can double click on it, like I just did there, and it will um, eventually, there we go. It will bring up the uh, the payment detail window, um, and you can see what account you expense it to, add a memo if you want to, et cetera, et cetera. But we don't need that, um, so I'm going to save and close and go back to the reconcile window. Okay, um, I think that wraps up pretty much everything. Those are the basics of how to reconcile your bank account. Um, all the only other thing you have to do is. Oh, actually, well, I should tell you, if you've got a long, yeah, a long statement to reconcile and you just can't get through all of it, uh, yes, you can save your work without completing it. You can do that by just hitting the leave button. Okay, but we're not going to do that now. We are actually done. I'm going to say reconcile now, and that's going to make the changes permanent in QuickBooks. You'll see it usually takes, um, depending on the speed of your computer, could be anywhere from 5 to 30, 60 seconds for QuickBooks to go through and finish the what it needs to do uh, behind the scenes to do the reconcile. Um, we're just going to wait for this. Okay. So now it is generating and saving our reconciliation reports, which uh, the reconciliation reports are a good, you'll see this window pop up in a second. Um, those are good to print off and save in your files somewhere um, because in case, like I was mentioning before, if you check your beginning balance and see that that's off for some reason, those can be a very nice thing to come back to and uh, and reference because they'll show you exactly how you um, what checks and what deposits went went into your reconciliation um, so if you ever need to double check something um, you can go through that report and um, and pull it back up and figure out where a mistake was made uh, or sometimes your CPA or tax preparer um, likes to see those at the end of the year um, to double check work and that sort of thing. And I guess my computer is just running slow today. Okay, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so like I said, um, I would, if, if I were you, select a reconciliation report and do the detail report and print that out and save it for your files. Um, but for today, I'm just going to close, and that brings me back to my bank account. Um, okay, so that's it for this uh, bank reconcili reconciliation tutorial. I hope you found this useful, and until next time, take care.